does propanoic acid is a carboxylic acid that reacts with water according to the equation above. At 25 degrees Celsius, the pH of a 50 mL sample of 0 0.20 molar propanoic acid is 2.79. Identify the Bronsted-Lowry conjugate acid base pair in the reaction. Okay? So remember your propanoic acid, that's going to be your acid, while the conjugate base is going to be the CH3CH2COO minus. Or you could say water is your base and hydronium is your conjugate acid. Whichever way you want to do it, that's fine. So you get one point for clearly indicating that. In B, it wants your Ka. So I wrote out my reaction. Okay? I noted that the initial concentration of the propanoic acid is 0 0.20 molar. Keep in mind, when it gives you a pH of an acid solution, that means once the acid has been allowed to dissociate, then the pH will be. So that is going to be the, the pH is going to be used to determine the concentration of H3O plus at equilibrium. So I did 10 raised to the negative 2.79. That's my concentration of H3O plus at equilibrium. So it's 0 0.0016. That tells me my X value. So therefore I can determine my concentration of propanoic acid at my equivalent at my equilibrium, which is 0 0.198, okay? And then you can find your Ka by doing products over reactants. And so the Ka I got rounding to two sig figs was 1.3 times 10 to the negative fifth. So you get one point for the correct concentration of H3O+, plus, one point for the correct expression, or simply substituting in your values, so you didn't actually have to write the expression since it didn't ask for it, and then one for the correct Ka value. So you get a total of three points from this question. For C, it says for the, each of the following statements, determine whether the statement is true or false. So the pH of a solution prepared by mixing 50 mils of the acid with 50 mils of NaOH is 7. Well, I'm taking, if you notice, since it's 50 mils of both of them in the same concentration, that's my equivalence point. So this question is saying, at my equivalence point, my pH is 7. Since I have a weak acid and a strong base, however, I know that my solution is going to be basic. So you can explain it that way for noting that it's false and explaining it that way. What I wanted to do, I'm showing you right here why that's the case, why it is basic, just to remind people. So remember, since I'm combining two solutions together, the new concentration is going to be 0.10 for both of them, because it's 0.2 times 50 divided by 100. Then, since it's a weak acid and a strong base reacting, I allow them to react completely together. And so the only thing that's going to be left, you don't have your acid or your strong base, you just have the weak conjugate base. So you have 0.10 molar of your weak base. So that's why your pH would be greater than 7. Okay? So I just showed that work, but just noting that it would be basic or that the pH would be greater than 7 works fine and you get your point. In II, it says if the pH of hydrochloric acid solution is the same as the pH of a propanoic acid solution, then the molar concentration of hydrochloric acid solution must be less than the molar concentration of the propanoic acid. Well, that's true. Because hydrochloric acid is a strong acid, it's going to dissociate more hydrogen ions than the propanoic acid, which means in order to reach the same pH, you need more of your weak acid than you would of your strong acid. Okay, so you get one point for the correct answer and having the correct explanation. A student is given the task of determining the concentration of a propanoic acid solution of unknown concentration. A 0 0.173 molar NaOH solution is available to use as a titrant. The student uses a 25 mil volumetric pipette to deliver the propanoic acid solution to a dry flask. So you've got 25 mils of your acid, a 0 0.173 molar base and then it says you reach your equivalence point when the volume is 20.52 mils of base. So what I'm going to do, I don't love their setup. Okay, I'm going to just show my setup that I did here. It's similar to what they put. Okay, so I'm going to take my volume of base, convert it into liters. Then I'm going to multiply by the concentration of the base, which is 0.173 moles. Then I'm going to multiply by the mole to mole ratio in order to get into moles of my acid and then I can divide by the volume of my acid that I used which is 0.025 in order to figure out the concentration of the acid okay in E so you get one point sorry you get one point for having the correct number of moles of acid remember if you just set it up but don't have an answer that's totally fine because you're showing you're getting into moles of your acid and then one point for the correct molarity in E the student is asked to redesign the experiment 
to determine the concentration of a butanoic acid solution instead of a propanoic acid solution. For butanoic acid, the value of pKa is 4.83. The student claims that a different indicator will be required to determine the equivalence point of the titration accurately. Based on your response to part B, do you agree with the student's claim? Well, based on my answer for part B, the Ka is 1.3 times 10 to the negative fifth, which gives me a pKa of 4.89. So since 4.83 and 4.89, the pKa's are similar, then that tells me that the pH at the equivalence point for butanoic acid is gonna be similar enough to that of propanoic acid that it's fine to use the same indicator. So you get one point for disagreeing with the claim and justifying in terms of pKa, Ka, or pH. And then you get one point for numerically comparing either the pKa values or the Ka values. Okay, So that's going to be two points. I would have probably just given it one, but it, it's two points there. So if you talk about those things, then you get two points.